After having this long, long double XP period, it is finally time to cash in those bonus checks. But is this gun really worth it? Let's check it out. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am Faye one as usual and today we're going to talk about a gun. Yes, a gun. But it is not just a gun, it is actually an assault rifle. Not that long ago, I've done a poll on my YouTube and you guys clearly stated that you want to see another medic review. Our previous video was also an assault rifle, the NSX Yumi. Uh, that video you can find in the top right corner right now. But well guys, if you want to have a say in the coming weapon reviews, then please subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with my polls that I do, or leave a comment down below of course. Today's weapon, as you might have seen in the thumbnail, is the NS11A. And yes, this is the twin brother of the NS11C. And to make the family complete, it is also the little brother of the NS15. If you've ever played with one of those guns before, then you might notice some similarities. But today we're going to dive into all the details of the NS11A. By the way, just to clear things up, yes, NS11A stands for NS11 Assault Rifle. And the NS11C, that is the NS11 Carbine. So... Light Assault Engineer versus Medic. Clear. Let's go to the elephant of the room though, the specifications of the NS11A. The 11A has actually a very, very good muzzle velocity. With 550 meters per second, it almost is getting near to some sniper rifles. So for your long range engagements, this gun feels amazing. Especially because the rate of fire is relatively low with only 652 rounds per minute. Due to this low rate of fire, you can really easily control the gun at longer ranges. However though, there's also a setback of having a lower rate of fire. With a damage output of 143 at 10 meters and 125 at 65 meters, the damage per second or the DPS isn't the highest. Therefore, in 1v1 close quarter combat, this gun might not win you fights. I do have to add though that the hipfire accuracy of the NS11A is relatively good. So if you can hipfire some headies, well then you might survive some M1v1 engagements. Finally, the 11A has a max size of 35 and there are 210 rounds in total. A max size of 35 might not be enough to kill multiple targets, but the NS11A does have a relatively high reload speed. Only 2.45 for the full reload and 2 seconds for the short reload. If you really want to be economical with your bullets, you could switch to the secondary fire mode and as the semi-auto mode to really tap fire your enemies down. It is not something I really use myself, but you could use it in theory. But I will talk about the playstyle of the ANS 11A a bit later in the video. To be completing this review, you can right now see in the screen all the details about the NS 11A. If you want to read all of them, what you could do is right now pause the video, or you could go to the description down below and find the link to all my sources over there. Anyway, no sane person would go into a fight with the NS11A without any attachments, so let's discuss those quickly. First of all, the NS11A got a variety of different scopes. It ranges from the 1x reflex sights to the 4x scopes. The sights are really a personal choice, however they all go with a different playstyle. For example, you would play differently with the 4x than with, for example, the 1x. One additional note though is that the HS and V scope is also available for this gun. I decided to not buy the night vision scope because in this case this gun, unlike the Yumi, doesn't have an underbarrel grenade launcher. However though, if you like to play those dark hostile knights, the HS and V-scope might be for you. But I already mentioned the underbarrel grenade launcher that is not available for the NS11A. What barrel attachments are available though? It is pretty basic for the NS11A. First of all, we've got the forward grip for 100 certs. This reduces the horizontal recoil by 25% and therefore the control is a bit better. In general, the control of the NS11A is already pretty good, so I didn't really think the forward grip was that useful. Having said that though, if you use it in combination with, for example, 4 times or 3.4 times for those long range engagements, well in that case it might make it a bit easier for you to control your aim and hit those headshots. Next to the forward grip, there's also a laser sight available, not an advanced one, just a basic one, and this increases the user's hipfire accuracy by 33%. Because the L11A has got a rather low DPS, it is, like I mentioned before, pretty hard to win those 1v1 engagements. But if you try to stay mobile as a medic and try to hipfire on the hat, well, you might actually win those engagements sometimes. Therefore, I mainly use the laser sight in my road to erection, and it only costs 100 certs. Finally, also for 100 search, you got the dark light flashlight, and this will make it easier for you to spot those pesky, pesky infiltrators. However, I'm personally not a fan, so I won't unlock this. 
Moreover, you also got the barrel attachments. For 100 search, you can get a compensator, which redirects your gaze upward, reducing the vertical recoil. The downside of using the compensator is that you will be seen on the minimap from further away, but also your hipfire accuracy will go down a bit. Again, the NS11A doesn't really have that much recoil, so I don't really see a reason to reduce it. However, again, if you use the 3.4 times or 4 times and you want to hit those headshots, you might want to play with the compensator. The second barrel attachment is the suppressor. This will reduce the muzzle flash and noise generation is also reduced, and therefore you are not seen anymore on the minimap. The downside of using the suppressor is that your damage falloff rate will start 20 meters earlier and you will have 15% less bullet velocity. For me personally, and this really is depending on your playstyle, the downsides really outweigh the benefits of using the suppressor, so I would choose to not play suppressor. The final barrel attachment is the flash suppressor and that will reduce your muzzle flash, but in exchange your enemies will see you on the minimap from 50 meters farther away. I've got the feeling that your enemies will much more often check the minimap than check for muzzle flashes, so in this case I did not choose to play with the flash suppressor as well. But Faber, what barrel attachment do I need to choose? Well guys, in this case I would actually opt to play without any barrel attachment. Just your plain old gun in that case. If you want to, of course, you can test out all these attachments in the VR training room yourself, if it fits your playstyle. But in this case, I don't think any attachment is worth the 100 search investment. The last thing on our list of attachments is the ammunition. And in this case, we've got a few things. We've got the high velocity ammo and the soft point ammo. The HVA ammo, the high velocity one, increases your bullet velocity by 10% and also increases your minimum damage range by 20 meters. The downside of using HVA ammo is that your maximum damage range is reduced by 2 meters. Well, what does it really mean to you in practice? If you want to play long engagements, in this case then the HVA ammo is amazing because you've got faster bullets and the bullets you hit will do more damage as well. If you're playing close quarter though, your bullets will start to drop off from 8 meters instead of 10 using this ammunition. So luckily we've got another choice, if you want to play close combat you can use the soft point ammunition because what that ammo will do, it will increase the maximum damage range by 5 meters so instead of 10 meters you'll get 50 meters of 143 damage uh, well instead it does reduce the bullet velocity by 10% Again, I already mentioned it before but I really think this gun is mainly made for medium to long range engagements and therefore the HVA playstyle is probably the one for you as well The soft point ammunition works of course but I really think it's more situational than when you use the HVA one. But okay, okay, we finally know all the basics about the NS11A. But how should you play with this gun? And is it really worth it? The final verdict, of course. I think it's very important to note here that if you're playing the NS11A, you're still playing as a medic. And one of your main tasks as being a medic is to revive your teammates. During my trip to Erection with the NS11A, I really found it was a very good gun in combination with another player. If you have, for example, a heavy assault in front of you and you can try to be in his back, shoot long range or medium range and use him as a tank to dodge all the bullets and you revive or heal him when necessary, that is really where the NS11A shines. Like I mentioned before, the NS11A is not really a beast in 1v1 encounters. If you're playing solo, I don't think it is the best gun to get for the money. This gun will cost you 1000 certs, so it's not cheap at all. I think there are many other faction specific assault rifles that do that job a lot better when you're playing solo. Having said that though, if you are playing NSO like me, the options to play assault rifles are rather limited. Your basic assault rifle is the NSX Yumi, and well, this NS11A is 1 million times better than the NSX Yumi. I have Erection both guns, the NSX Yumi and the NS11A, and I just noticed that my KPM, my kills per minute, as well as my KD, my kill death ratio, is a lot better, and I mean a lot better with the NS11A. So if you are playing this fourth faction, the robots, please ditch that Yumi, get some certs, and boy the NS11A. For the other factions though, well, it's an okay gun, there's nothing wrong with it. It is pretty versatile, it does its job well, but it needs to fit your playstyle. Is it worth the 1000 certs? I don't know. If you are a relatively new player and you don't have that many certs, the NS11A is not the first gun I would buy. If you want to have an assault rifle that also does long range, well, if you're playing TR, look at the Sabre 13. If you're playing NC, look at the Reaper DMR. And if you're playing Venu, just first look at the CME. That said though, guys, I really had fun erection with the NS11A, and I'm looking forward to also using the NS11C in the future as well. Anyway, guys, that is me, that is Faber1, and I will see you soon with some more content.